Hi there, okay, so here's a first test on HF shortwave 9650, a weak signal. Uh, on the left is the Megactive MA305, uh, and on the right is the Benito Bonnie Whip. <clears throat> so, signal to noise on the uh, MA305 is sort of peaking at around about 10 dBs. Uh, just gonna watch it for a while. Um, noise floor is slightly lower, maybe 5 dBs lower with the MA305 on the left as compared to the Benito Pony Whip on the right. Um, and then the signal to noise on the right with the Bonnie Whip. Um, okay, just peaked at 11 very briefly. Um, just peaked at 13 on the left. So Again, similar performance, signal minus 80, peaking at minus 82, 85 with the MA305, 81, and then 79. So, you know, similar similar uh, signal strength, similar signal to noise. Um, so I'm going to disconnect the MA305 on the left, put a wire in the CCMC30, plug it in, and let's see um, what the difference is. So bear with me a second. Okay, so we have a significant drop in noise floor. It's now down to about minus 122 dBs with the MA305 uh, as compared with about minus 105. Uh, let's have a listen. Still sounds terrible. Signal to noise. Still, well, I'll peak is at 10, 11. And let's listen. With the Benito Bonnie Whip. Let's go back. Yeah. I'm not hearing anything really very different. The signal to noise is peaking at around about 15 dBs. Um, with, the, with this signal, with the CCMC30 uh, in uh, circuit. Um, there's a bigger difference now um, in terms of the signal to noise. It's generally now a few dBs higher with the signal on the left with the CCMC30, but uh, this signal's so weak and there's such a lot of adjacent noise, um, it's difficult to tell. So if I just, let's go down to 9635 kilohertz and have a listen I think 9635 is radio I think that's turkey so what have we got so signal to noise peaking at 36 with the MA305 on the left and 33 just peaked on the right with the Benito Bonnie whip uh, 29 25 26 20 i mean obviously other than the fact that the noise floor is significantly lower um the, the signal strength uh is lower um with the ccmc30 uh, but the signal to noise which is what's really important is overall uh several dbs uh improved upon the benito bonnie whip um whenever the software samples um so yeah and now that signal's gone off air so uh, let's try another one let's try 9620 okay okay so um 26, 28 dBs, peaking at 28, 22 dBs, um, 31, 27, 
Yeah. So, a big drop in noise floor, um, an improvement in signal to noise. Um, but beyond that, I think I'm going to probably have to record several signals, a lot of signals, to uh, figure out exactly what the benefit is on shortwave, uh, at various signals in various bands. Um, what I'm going to do actually, while I'm here, is I'm going to disconnect the CCMC30, so I'm just going to reconnect the MA305 such that it's back in straight into the uh, SDR play and let's have a uh, let's have another look so just very quickly before I do that we're peaking at 27 28 dBs uh, with the CCMC 30 peaking at sort of 24 without so bear with me a second again Okay, so there you go. So this is with the MA305, it's just a direct comparison with the um, Benito Bonnie Whip, and what have we got? So we've got a noise, noise floor now that's much more similar. Um, the MA305 is probably around about minus 108 dBs, it's about 105 on the, bo on the Bonnie Whip, and on this signal, um, the signal on the Bonnie Whip is peaking at around about 21 dBs and it's just peaked at 24, 29, okay, 27. So I think overall, now that I've taken the CCMC30 out of circuit, um, the signal to noise reading is crossing over. So uh, as and when it's sampled, there are some readings on the Bonnie Whip that are higher than the MA305, whereas with it in circuit, that wasn't the case. The readings were always higher. Um, on the on the MA three hundred five with the uh, CCMC thirty in circuit, um, so there you go. Um, really excellent performance on long wave and medium wave, and certainly a big improvement in terms of the noise floor on HF, uh, and an improvement in signal to noise. I think on HF some more videos uh, will come because I think I need to do some more experiments with this. Uh, test various bands etc but uh, overall this uh, this device from Benito um, looks like it really can contribute to uh, removing noise from uh, from your signals so uh, which is great and like I said I'm used to using the GI 300 galvanic isolator there's no doubt at all that that's helped uh, improve a lot of my uh, DX signals and um, the CCMC30 seems to be capable of doing the same thing, um, but much more effective at lower frequencies. So, uh, uh, a useful a useful tool to have uh, for sure. So, anyway, I'll do some more videos, but for now, thanks for watching.